president's son has intensified over the last several months. The investigation has been going on since 20 years. In plain sight, the latest on the investigation into Hunter Biden and the Biden family influence peddling. Senators Chuck Grassley and Ron Johnson. Hunter Biden. He's creating fresh trouble for the president. A new scandal has hit Hunter Biden. Welcome to our latest investigation video. Today, we're going to dive into a scandal that's been making headlines recently. The Hunter Biden scandal. Now, I know many of you may have heard of this scandal, but do you really know what's been going on? Have you found yourself asking, what's the big deal, or what exactly is Hunter Biden accused of? Well, we're here to give you the answers you've been looking for. So, let's get started. First, let's start with some background information. Hunter Biden is the son of President Joe Biden and has been in the public eye for years. However, in recent months, he's come under fire for his business dealings in Ukraine and China. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, what's the problem with that? Plenty of people do business in other countries. But it's not that simple. Hunter's involvement with foreign companies has raised questions about potential conflicts of interest and whether or not he used his father's political influence for personal gain. The Hunter Biden scandal refers to allegations of impropriety and conflicts of interest related to Hunter Biden's business dealings in Ukraine and China. Specifically, it centers around his position on the board of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company, and his work with Chinese investment firm BHR Partners. The scandal has attracted attention because of Hunter Biden's ties to his father, Joe Biden, who was vice president of the United States at the time of the events in question. Critics allege that Hunter Biden's business dealings represent a potential conflict of interest and a violation of ethical standards. Now, how Biden Sr. will explain this mess. Let's dive into it. Hunter Biden's business dealings in Ukraine began in 2014, when he was appointed to the board of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company. At the time, his father Joe Biden was vice president and was heavily involved in U.S. policy towards Ukraine. Critics allege that Hunter Biden's position on the board of Burisma represented a conflict of interest, as it could have influenced U.S. policy towards Ukraine. In addition, there have been questions about Hunter Biden's qualifications for the position, as he had little experience in the energy sector or in Ukraine. Hunter Biden's business dealings in China began in 2013, when he established a relationship with Chinese businessman Jonathan Lee through his business partner, Devin Archer. In 2017, Hunter Biden became a partner in BHR Partners, a Chinese private equity firm that was formed with funding from the Chinese government. Critics allege that Hunter Biden's business dealings in China represent a conflict of interest and could have influenced U.S. policy towards China. In 2014, Hunter Biden was appointed to the board of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company, while his father Joe Biden was vice president of the United States. In 2015, Vice President Biden traveled to Ukraine and called for the removal of Ukrainian Prosecutor General Viktor Shokin, who was widely seen as corrupt. Some critics allege that Biden's call for Shokin's removal was intended to protect Burisma and Hunter Biden from investigation. In 2019, President Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, began investigating the Biden's business dealings in Ukraine. In July 2019, Trump asked Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to investigate the Bidens in a phone call that was later the subject of a whistleblower complaint. The Trump administration's efforts to investigate the Bidens led to Trump's impeachment by the House of Representatives in December 2019, although he was acquitted by the Senate in February 2020. Critics have alleged that Hunter Biden's business dealings in Ukraine and China represent a conflict of interest and a violation of ethical standards. Specifically, they allege that Hunter Biden's position on the board of Burisma represented a conflict of interest, as it could have influenced U.S. policy towards Ukraine. They also allege that Hunter Biden's work with BHR Partners represents a conflict of interest and could have influenced U.S. policy towards China. Some critics have gone further and alleged that Hunter Biden engaged in corruption or other illegal activity. For example, they allege that Hunter Biden received large payments from foreign companies in exchange for access to his father, Joe Biden, or U.S. government officials. However, there is little evidence to support these allegations. 
Firstly, the Senate Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee's report on Hunter Biden's business dealings in Ukraine and China was released in September 2020. The report found that Hunter Biden's position on the board of Burisma was problematic and created a conflict of interest for the Obama administration's Ukraine policy. The report also alleged that Hunter Biden received millions of dollars from Ukrainian oligarchs and Chinese nationals while his father was vice president. This has raised concerns about possible corruption and conflicts of interest. Moreover, the report also criticized the Obama administration's handling of the situation, stating that they should have been more proactive in addressing potential conflicts of interest. The implications of the Hunter Biden scandal go beyond domestic politics. The scandal has also strained US-China relations, as some of Hunter Biden's business deals involve Chinese companies. This could potentially complicate diplomatic efforts between the two countries. Furthermore, the scandal has become a political tool for the Trump administration, who have accused Joe Biden of using his position as vice president to benefit his son's business dealings. This has led to a tense political climate and further division in the already polarized American society. The response to the Hunter Biden scandal has been varied, with both the Biden and Trump camps, as well as the media and the public, weighing in on the matter. The Biden campaign has maintained that there is no evidence of wrongdoing by Hunter or Joe Biden, and that the allegations against them are part of a political smear campaign. On the other hand, the Trump campaign has seized on the scandal as evidence of corruption within the Democratic Party and has used it as a rallying cry for his supporters. The media has also been divided in its coverage of the scandal, with some outlets giving it extensive coverage while others have largely ignored it. Many conservative media outlets have heavily covered the scandal, while mainstream media sources have been more cautious in their reporting. Public opinion on the matter has also been divided along partisan lines. Some voters view the scandal as evidence of corruption within the Biden family, while others see it as a baseless attack on the Democratic nominee. In conclusion, the Hunter Biden scandal is a complex and controversial issue that has attracted significant attention in the lead-up to the 2020 presidential election. While the allegations of corruption and conflicts of interest surrounding Hunter Biden's business dealings are concerning, the partisan nature of the scandal and the lack of concrete evidence raise questions about its true significance. While the allegations of corruption and conflicts of interest surrounding Hunter Biden's business dealings are concerning, the partisan nature of the scandal and the lack of concrete evidence raise questions about its true significance. As the investigation into the scandal continues, it will be important for the media and the public to maintain a critical and objective perspective on the matter. Ultimately, the Hunter Biden scandal will have significant implications for U.S. politics and foreign relations, and it is important that we approach it with a clear-eyed and unbiased understanding of the facts.